Welcome back everyone. This is the unboxing of the Casio FX 115 ES Plus second edition. Apparently it's permitted on the AP, uh, AP classes, SAT, SAT subject, PSAT, uh, NMSQT, and ACT. Uh, does a couple of things here. It says right here it does general math, pre-algebra, algebra 1 and 2, geometry, trigonometry, statistics, calculus, biology, chemistry, physics, engineering. Um, it has a sticker here. I'm noticing that the, the new calculators have a sticker saying that it has a battery and be careful not to swallow that. Um, it has that natural VPAM enter expressions as written in textbook. You can barely see that there. And then it has a lot of features here. Solar equation solver, uh, numerical differentiation, multi uh, replay functions, prime factorization, that's interesting, product calculations, 40 meter convert, 40 metric conversions, uh, matrix vector calculations, C, uh, G, C, D, greatest common divisor, and least common multiple, verification function, random integers, list, list based statistics, hmm. and then a lot more things like trigonometric functions, exponential, uh, fraction calculations, calculations with square roots. Recurring decimals, simulation, no simultaneous equations, mm, inequalities, table functions, complex number calculations, coordinate conversions, permutations, combina uh, combinations, statistical calculations, standard deviation, regression analysis. And this is a website here, so you can look at that. Um, comes with a um, hard case. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to open this. Always be careful when you're using a sharp object. Okay. All right. I've opened a few of these already. Okay. This one's not English. This one is uh, Startup Guide. Okay, All right. Warning about the um, battery cell, button battery cell, and your warranty. Okay. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, it says rating solar cell battery, DC 1.5 volts. It looks like it says USB battery LR44. LR44 one time. Uh, made in Thailand. Okay. All right. And it looks like you might have to take off these screws to do anything with the button battery. Okay, slides. Oh, nice color. Wonder how long that's going to last in terms of it looking like this. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. Well, very similar 
to the FX300ES. The 300ES uh, is aimed for high school, middle school, um, maybe even some college, but this one, the FX115ES Plus, apparently is a more higher end calculator for college students. And you can see here, this one has a solve button here. This one does not. One thing that I've learned recently, it has this fact to do um, prime factorizations. That's pretty neat. Okay, so let's look at this <clears throat> more closely. Um, it has, um, oh, let's turn it on, right? It has several uh, rows to do your calculations, right? It, um, it looks like it can do differentiation and integration, uh, definite integrals, right? X to the minus one, very nice. Um, factorial, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it's, it looks like uh, to sum um, with, um, with values on the sums and then the, um, Oh, I forget what's that called. The pi, where you multiply instead of add. Um, you have over here <clears throat> a fraction button. You can go down. It's just basically, sh you know, showing you the, the buttons that it has. This is not a <clears throat> beginner's guide. <clears throat> and then you can do improper fractions. Mixed numbers right there. Divide by R. I'm not sure what that is. Third root. Square root. X squared. X to the third. Um, X to some power. The, down here on the yellow is any, any root. Log. Natural log. 10 to the X. E to the X, basically. Decimal. Hexa. Binary. Octa. Um, plus or minus key. This is for the minutes and seconds. Um, this is the trigonometric functions and also it's arc sine, cosines and stuff. I guess it's, this is to store and recall. Uh, this is for engineering, I think, in the way it does um, scientific notation or something. Percentages, comma, X, Y. Um, you got A, B, C, D, E, and F right here. This S and D is to go between um, uh, fractions and decimals. Well, that's pretty neat. Memory plus, it looks like. And then you got your number keys. Ah, this is interesting. Times 10 to the X, an answer key, an equal key. Hmm. Uh, delete AC button. Uh, you have a stats distribution button here. Complex, complex or complete, I'm not sure what that is. Base, matrix, vectors, verify, constant, and so forth. Oh, um, combinations, uh, permutations, pole, maybe for polar, I'm not sure. Random number, pi, e. Oh, let's see, that's in red. I wonder what that is. Let me see. Just E itself, that's nice. And then shift pi. That's nice, pi. Okay. And definitely, if we click on mode, we have all these and more. Interesting. And let's turn it on. What about shift mode? Math IO, degree, grad, psi. Uh, line IO, rad, fix, normal, anything else? Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, all right. So that's, that's that. Let's look at the manual very quickly. Should be more than the um, FX 
300 ES plus. Let's see. It looks like it has two lines for sure, two line display. Calculation priority sequence. Um, looks like parentheses, functions, negative signs, fractions, and so forth. Fraction calculations, toggling calculation results, percents, degrees, and minutes, multi statements. I don't know what that is. Using engineering notation. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, remainder calculations. Oh, that's what the divide R is. Remainder calculations. Interesting. Recurring decimal calculations. It has the bar on the top. Oh, so you have a bar somewhere. You have an X and a bar. Oh, that red one right there. Hmm. Well, that's nice. That's interesting. Um, reoccurring decimals. Prime factorizations. Nice. Calculation history. Replay, scientific constant, metric conversions, memories, variables. You have A through F, M, X, Y. That's nice. Independent, independent memory. Function calculations, right? Like sines, cosines, arc sines, logs, natural logs. And then you have uh, integration. Nice. Okay. So these are, apparently these are these functions that you see here, apparently is certain approximations. Hmm. Polar rectangle, absolute, random number. It says function that generates a pseudo-random number. Function that generates a pseudo-random integer between a specified start and start number. Oh, okay. Combination permutations uh, causes decimal fraction values to R augment to be rounded. Oh, so this is a round function. Oh, so this one here is to round down here. Oh, okay. Complex numbers using calc, using solve, statistical calculations. Let's see. Inputting values, so you have a table apparently. Obtaining statistical values of input. Mm. Looks like you put it in an editor. Does it give me more? Performing normal distribution. Oh, look at that. It does normal distribution calculations. That's nice. Base n. Um, for the normal normal distribution, I don't see an inverse normal. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Base n calculations. Equation calculations. Ooh. Matrix calculations. Creating numerical tables. Vector calculations. Inequalities. Inequality calculations. Oh, nice. Using verify... I'm not sure what that is. And then distribution cal distribution calculations. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what that list screens. Before assuming malfunction, replacing the battery, technical information. Okay. So definitely you want to save this. Okay. There's a lot of things that I still don't quite know how to do in this in these calculators. Um, they all have different ways of doing different things. Like for example, this one right here. This is from 1992 of my original uh, 48SX. And it has an equation editor right here. And I was able to do um, definite integration and and differentiation. So these these um, processes have been around for, for some time. Um, but the interface has gotten much better. Um, turn this one on here. 
And you can see between these two that uh, there's some big differences in terms of other types of functions that the calculator has. Um, depending on your needs, you're going to choose one or the other. Um, based on what I see so far on the 115ES, it looks like it has a lot more features for your science class. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a sense of what you'll find in the Casio FX115ES Plus um, inside the box. Now, if you're interested, um, you could, uh, if you wanted to, let's say you, you're like interested in another like calculator, right? We have plenty here. Let's see here. Like for example, the um, TI30X Pro, you know, it does do integrations, differentiations as well. Okay. It probably doesn't, it, it definitely doesn't do um, factorization if you're interested in doing that, right? Other more, and this is an algebraic calculator. This one is sort of an algebraic calculator in the multi view, less expensive. Um, but this is for middle school, maybe high school. So these two are more together. Um, and more, this calculator doesn't do graphing like the TI 8384. Okay. You have a lot of options. A lot of options. You might think, well, what about this one? Like the FX, the Casio FX 260 Solar 2. This is definitely a much lower model compared to this one. Um, this one's middle school, probably high school as well. And then, of course, this one is not an algebraic calculator like the TI-30XA. Much more simple in use. Um, and, of course, there's the higher-end algebraic calculator. Or what they used to call an algebraic cal calculator, the TI-30X. Two Mark II S. This one's definitely a nicer calculator, but nothing compared to this one in terms of its capability. This is not a calculator that can compete with this, um, the 115ES. It, you can see it has a lot more features and it does a lot more. Um, but they're all, all these calculators can do algebra one and algebra two very easily. Now, can it solve those quadratic equations and stuff like that? Can it draw pictures? No. This one probably can. The TI-84 can help you on that and you can program it. Okay. But we're talking about this calculator here, right? And the way, the way it looks and feels. Beautiful color. Um, does, um, does a lot of features. And maybe you'll like this. All right, I hope uh, you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your teachers, your friends about the videos. And I hope you have a great uh, semester. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.